Hey everybody, Jared of Second Life Design. Welcome back to Milling Monday. We're getting into a good one tonight, something I've been kind of waiting for, and that is going to be talking about milling solo. Milling on your own versus with a buddy. Uh, what's the best option? What do you think? Um, my experience has been to where I prefer almost milling by myself. I find it that way. It works better that way. Uh, I can just kind of do it whenever I need. Scheduling people to come help me, you know, calling a buddy to come help or whatever, it just seems to me it's hard. And when I, when I have the time to mill, I just want to get it done. And that's kind of become my preference. I've never really found, uh, when I was even doing the kind of the medium sized logs, you know, the 20 to 32 inch stuff, a little under, I never found the actual pushing of the mill that hard. I always just I didn't really think it was that much effort. I always found the effort in being moving the slabs and actually cutting them never really seemed hard to me. Um, as I've gotten into bigger stuff, into the single slab world, um, intuitively you think, okay, it's more wood, you need more people. Uh, I got an Alaskan winch, so I, I don't really need as, you know, it's not something that's needed. I don't need somebody on the other end pushing. Anyone who's milled knows that you know, when you're pushing your mill through, you're pulling it with the winch, whatever, uh, there is a sweet spot of engine RPM versus, you know, how hard you're pulling on that winch or how hard you're pushing it versus how much how much dust is coming out, how much your, your sawdust is coming out. Finding that right engine speed versus engine load and whatever. And I feel like in the times I've had people help me, there is I'm pushing so hard and then they're pushing too hard. And then I let off a little bit to accommodate, to you know, keep the engine R RPM up. So then they push harder and it loads it down more. And keeping that, that balance, that, that uh, synchronization has always been kind of a challenge. You know, it, um, you're, you're two different people almost, kind of hearing two different things. And it just e it's easier, I found, just since I have the Alaskan winch, use that. I can fine tune that engine RPM exactly where I need the whole time. And that really works the best for me. I know this not, it might sound like an advertisement for another Greenberg product, but it really is going to be a time saver. It's going to give you a better cut. You know, I can't say enough about the Alaskan winch. Uh, that's why I can do all this, all this stuff on my own. That being said, moving slabs, definitely get some help if you have, if you have the means. Uh, when you start getting into the stuff that is 30 inches and more, uh, the, you know, and they're 30 inches wide, two and a half inches thick, eight, nine feet long, those are man killers. If you, if you cannot keep that held up or you're trying to move it or do anything with it, if one slip, that falls on you and it can be game over. So I, Anything you can do to any, if you have equipment, great. If you're doing it by hand, have a buddy, have an escape plan, you know, something were to fall, you know, do whatever you can for that part. That's always been the more laborious part to me has been the moving of the slabs. Cutting them was never really that hard. I, the first few logs I did, they were on the smaller side, you know, 20 inches, you know, plus or minus. And I'd always heard that it was a lot of work and it didn't seem to be, you know, I was doing the cutting and I, you know, I had them propped up so they were going downhill, that can help. And it just didn't really seem all that intensive. When I go to move them, that's the work. So we'll do whatever you can do to minimize that. So really quick to subject guys, but I think it's something that's important, something to consider uh, whether, you know, when you're doing this, when you're starting a your milling. So keep, you know, food for thought there. One quick note, I am starting a second vlog, uh, Wood Shop Wednesday. It is completely related to woodworking only. I know that a lot of people that are chainsaw millers are generally also woodworkers, but not all woodworkers are into chainsaw milling. So I think there's a lot of territory to cover, a lot of things I can help with uh, for the woodworkers out there. It will be identical to this, where it's going to be four or five minute videos uh, covering one topic and my experiences with it. So check that out. Woodshop Wednesday, Milling Monday, Woodshop Wednesday. It's going to be two videos a week in a vlog style. So appreciate all the comments. Any Anything else, you can drop them down below. You can always find me on Instagram at Second Life Design. And thank you.